up those things. There he is. to stay to its back side and yeah hold on a minute Alright, so this video is only going to be 5 minutes long and when you go back to here, if you continue inside, then you can get the beckoning bell and the silencing bank. I'll show you what these here do. Let me just collect these. Bits. You can get the old hunter bell to summon um, people from those red things. Like you can um, summon a boss. But he's not actually a boss right now, you have to be carrying me. And this is the doll that you can channel your blood echoes. And you can buy stuff with your blood echoes sometimes. Right, so here you can buy armor, but that doesn't really matter right now. So you can see in the top right, you, um, I have insight, which is the bottom one. So. And if you don't know where to go, then you click here, then you can go into Century on them. So yeah. Basically here, um, if you don't want to fight them, you can go the long way. You can basically go down here. There's another dude right here, you can lock on by clicking um, R3. Then you get blood echoes in the top right, top. These dudes you can just skip. Go down here. This is where to fight the current beast. And to run and dodge a circle. Hold down circle to run and click circle to dodge. But you can't jump in this game. But you can. If you hold circle and then tap it, you go. Um, here is where you can summon someone. Or. Um, so there's a giant beast there. If you um, click start, you can use this, the beckoning bell. So let's use it. Um, here. Click square to use those items. Then you can consume insight to summon someone to help you. So these are real people. You could only use that in the online version. 
if you don't have online then you can't use that but you still can summon people so this is a giant you can just do that and then to parry them you can click L2 oh no yeah sometimes that can happen if you're not fast enough so just before they attack you click L2 on them when you lock on Um, if I die, then I can summon him for the gas coin. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. Um, he can be a boss after you've finished. But there are more of him. So, there's like, um, Blood Vial, someone, um, Alfred. Oh yeah, these are the boss. And down here. That would be, um, I don't know what you would be the first one. Oh, yeah, the wolves are very vicious, so they can kill you really easily. Anyway, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is that like, really weird. Okay, we've went over our time. Um, it's six minutes so far. Anyway, I don't think you can hear me. I'll just check by going onto my phone and checking this live stream. And it says there. So now I've got one inside back. Right, let's go onto my channel. Live. Yeah, okay, so you still can hear me. Yeah. Alright. Oh, just to make sure, sorry. Alright. Um, yeah. So you won't need to use the beckoning bell just yet because people that you usually summon won't accept because it has to be in a 10 level radius of yours. Or 10 20 level radius. So you have to summon one of them to look for the gas going. you go down here basically they can't really follow you so summon him they won't follow you down they just stay up there bring old hunter belt that's why you need to go back to the hunter dream to go get so basically just die yeah all right there he is he is a boss yeah. he will kill everything can die as well. So you need to help them. But they do have blood bars so they can heal. Oh yeah, blood bars are in the top left where your health is and your um whatever you want to call it, endurance. So yeah, he helps you fight people, including bosses. Right. So like these wolves, for example. But this will pass my blood echoes. So sometimes your blood echoes can be lying on the floor or the, um, the person that killed you has it. So by um, how to get them back, you just basically kill the one that you get. Or if it's on the floor, then you click X or X. But in my case, you click X. So he's gonna go kill him. Uh, I'm gonna go collect this. Blood Vials are extremely helpful in this gameplay. Oh, instead, I'm, we're both gonna go kill him. There. And um, if you want to do one of these crits, you basically hold down R2. And if you want to do fast ones, just spam R1. And to go into this long axe, you click L1 and then you're in L1 form you can use look these are the hard ones 
He fights everything there. So this is what you want to do. Yeah, not get killed by them. Just come down here. Look to here. Kill him. But alarm. If he dies, then he can just die. Come on, dude. You're gonna die. He's basically dead. Oh, leave it to me. And I'm dead. It's AC basically. Well, that's a waste of insight. So now, when you summon someone, you basically lose your insight. Does that make sense? Hopefully it is. Anyway, so we, I think we have five minutes left on this video. So I'm gonna go quickly kill Cleric Beast if I can. Yeah. It is really hard this game. I'm getting insight is one of the hardest things on your um, a low level. But just before we end this video, I'll show you my good account. Um, so I'm gonna kill the current beast hopefully, instead of getting killed by these people. This is gonna be my last try. So on my previous account, because I couldn't kill him, um, I got my brother to level 180 or 90. The max level is um, 514 or 550. Yeah, them shooting dudes, can, they can do a lot of damage to you. And as you can see, I don't have anything in the top right, so I don't have any insight or any blood echoes. Right. And now I'm, you need insight to summon, so you can't summon anyone. But I'm not gonna kill anyone, I'm just gonna go straight to um, Cloud Beast. Sorry if I'm speaking pretty fast. Oh yeah, and you can use cold blood, cold blood do to. Uh, Tapping circle means that you're dodging. Yeah, it's really hard to get past them, but I'm pretty sure they can come up there. Right. So what you want to do is just run past everyone, including him. You can um, then go into the sewers, but I'm not going to do that right now. Instead, I'm going to fight, fight the cloud beast. And the easiest bosses in the game. It's the first boss that you fight, but seeing that he does, he does a mad amount of damage, but he's also, he hates fire, because he's one of the beasts. Right, so that's what they kill me. Just gonna take off half of my health. Yeah, Molotov, they can do a lot. Okay, this is gonna be my last try for And then I shall show you my good account. Yeah, and you do that, you can just throw more toes. And you can use oil and because oil and fire makes bigger fire. And then I have two. And then. That's basically like his rage form. And then okay, you can just stab him. And then you can flip it out. Then. Dodge back here. There another monitor. Oh, never mind. I've killed 10 times how to block it. Some kind of beast, but this is on my new account. So I made not too long ago. And I couldn't be bothered to really fight him. Is there another Molotov weapon? I'm dead. 
Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, so I'm gonna save my shit. Uh, oh no, never mind. I have basically have an unlimited amount of time doing this video because it's a live stream. So basically, I'm gonna show you my good account now. So if I'm speaking really fast, it's just really how I speak. Yeah, you can go to the Chalice Dungeons. Yeah, there will be a video about that. Like, I can do go into one where you can spam a possessed person that kills other mobs. They're not really mobs, other monsters, you could say. Yeah, so... I'm just gonna go into my good account. I'm a level 84, I believe. Yeah, that one was like a level 11 or a level 10. Uh, I'm just going to check up on my channel, see how it's doing, the video, just in case my voice is stopped. Alright, uh, uh, so my voice hasn't stopped as you can hear. Alright, uh, uh, so my voice hasn't stopped as you can hear. Alright, uh, so my voice hasn't stopped as you can hear. That's just a demonstration. Alright, so... I am going to go into my good account now. As you can see, level 84, I'm stream, I stopped in. I've been playing for 26 hours. My brothers are still on, um, more than half my level. I mean, I'm more, I'm less than half of my brother's level. And I, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah. You may see these chips. Okay, look. So. I'm really far in, so I've got these weapons. They're not really weapons, it's called the... Hang on, let me just show you. Um, Uncanny Beast Claw. And I've upgraded it a lot, so... Yeah. Alright, so, here. This is what you do, you click L1. And then that happens. And these are Chalice Dungeon. So, this is the one that I was talking about, the one that's hacked and you can go... If I um, possess you, but yeah, um, I have recently got the best weapon, one of the best weapons in the game, but I can't use I can use it, but it's not my build. It's called the Lost Chicago. It's a really good weapon. Hang on, I'll just think. Look, so on the Yarnum headstone, I've beaten every boss in this part, but and I've beaten um. Thing, the boss here in the Forbidden Grave. They're the shadows of Yarnum, I'm pretty sure. And then the next boss is in Bygonwath. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but yeah. You can also go here. This, the uh, abandoned old workshop, really, really kind of is weird. Because look here, and then I'll go into there. I'm gonna spawn here. Okay, this is really creepy, by the way. Okay, it's the first time I saw this. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. Abandoned old watch. Here's the door. And then here. It's the hunter's dream. It's a real place. And how to get in here? You need to be really far down. So you could. Oh no. I forgot how, how you get in here. Hmm. Yeah, I can't remember. But yeah. Somehow I'm getting inside. Oh yeah, in this chest, if you ever come here, is the doll's clothes. So basically, you can sell them, you don't need them, and you get 34,000. Oh yeah, here's where the doll sits. Yeah, and if you go here, there would be something in there that you can collect, something there. And then here's where you can light the lamp, and you can return back to the hunter's dream. Yeah, I don't know why I'm showing you this. What did I even want to do here? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I was going to show you the chalice dungeons and the demon dude. 
Oh yeah, she's asleep right now. And you can kill her. But why would you want to? I've killed her before, but... I wasn't. Yeah, this is how much I need to level up. I need 42,000. It says it just above where I'm on right now, Vitality, and then above Insight. It says required. I need 42,472. But currently, the Blood Echoes that I have is 184. And I'm a level 84. Okay, so I'm going to show you what um, Charis Glyph, Glyph you need. It's 9NHEUVVZ. If you can't remember, then once I've finished the video, you can think, listen to it. Or it says it just where it says share dungeon in the bottom to the right then it says chalice glyph all right so the one that you need to go into first of all is chamber of the steel or you could go into layer one they're both across each other but whatever you do do not fight him unless you're really high level the one that i'm about to show you i'm not a high level i've never killed him but the others have killed him and I've used help to open a door somewhere that I don't know because this place is hard yeah yeah so you want to turn right if you're that low of a level then I don't suggest fighting him, but I can kill him. Yeah. Or, if you go out of this form, there's another dude here to your left. When you go right here, then he'll wake up. And then he switch and shoot him. Oh, sometimes... Oh, I just wasted two bullets. Right, I don't really know what I'm doing. Right, let's go back into that form. Go here. Swipe, swipe around him. Yeah. So this place is hard, but... Oh, it's, it's really hard. No, it's an iPad. I'm only kidding, but I've done this really a lot of times. Uh, I have... I've got this, the Lugged Wigs Holy Blade. I'll use it to kill them. They're really, really good. Empty phantom shell. I don't really know what that's used for. Anyway, yeah. To switch weapons, um, you basically click on the D-pad right. Here, I'm using it. Look, this is layer one, where that lamp is. All right, let's see the power difference. Yeah, this is an odd game, but it's still really good. I would suggest this weapon to those who have strengths. I've got a strength build. My strength is... 39 But yeah, I still find it hard to use it You can cut them in a small corner like this And then you can get your blood echoes There, I just got 8,860 8,860 I think And then when you go up this flight of stairs This is the possessed demon So what you want to do is strike him If you can But either way he just follows you and he has an attack which is fire. I think he'll demonstrate it. Oh yeah, he fights the person that's inside of him, that's possessing him. Look, pretty sure he'll do his fire attacks now, hopefully. Look, look, he's got more. He could do it on both hands. But if you're not careful, then he could crack you in a corner. And what you want to do is bring him in here. 
because then he'll fight the rest of them. Then you just stand in this corner specifically. I mean, if he will fight, he's not even here. He's fighting the demon, the thing that's possessing him inside. Up here. You need to make sure that he follows you. So you can parry him or do anything like that. But they won't attack him unless he attacks first. And you can watch as they fight. Grab the popcorn even. This is an easy PG way to get. Blood of those? There. He does crazy damage, so. I think someone's trying to fire at me, but he can't touch me. I really want to kill the person that's trying to fire at me. Oh! Oh, I thought he was dead for a second. Yeah, I've got the best thing though here and I'm on online. Usually they won't say to you, but in this case he, he said he was. Okay, where is this dude? He didn't die. Okay, you know what, how about I finish it? I'll show you where to get the little Chicago. So basically what you want to do is go up these flights of stairs and then there's a corridor here. You have to turn to the right and then just behind him. You don't want to fight this dude because of that. And then in there um, you'll have to open that and then there will be the lost Chicago. I don't think he's possessed, but I'll, I love to call him possessed. Anyway, that's it for this video. Peace out. Oh, sorry. Peace out.